Hello, Aleph. Today is another edition of Aleph. I'm doing something very nice and interesting today. And I'm treating one of the CEOs, um, Smart Minds, that is doing something great here in Martin Understand. So I'll let him do the introduction about himself to you guys. Wait and listen to the story. Hello, bro. What's up? How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, all good, my friend. All right, correct. So yeah, what's your name perfect. exactly? Pardon? Tell me your name exactly. Your name? My name is Johnny Beck. Johnny, Johnny Beck. Beck. Yeah. Wow. So, Gianni, what do you do exactly? Because what do I do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, yeah did, right, right. how did the journey begin? Well, uh, I have a company. I have my own brand of sunglasses and uh, optical frames called Nomad Exclusive. I'm wearing one of this. I will always wear my stuff. Your brand. Yeah, my very brand. Good, I'm, 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 I'm sort of ambassador for myself, for my brand. Mm, you know? Exactly. So I'm doing business in wow. five cities right now. Wow. Where we five have stores where, yeah, in where, yeah, where? Yeah. Almaty, Astana, uh, Aktobe, Atrau, and Chinkent. Wow. Five cities. Excellent. Yeah, we are Excellent. in Kazakhstan as of now. As soon as we will cover the whole country, wow. we are planning to go abroad. Wow. So exactly, how did this journey begin? How did the journey begin? Where did it start from? Right, right. Uh, well, I'm from Karagana city myself, and uh, I started hustling. I've started some doing some uh, brokership deals that kind of I. Uh, like I uh, was helping people with different uh, services, with goods, when I was like high school and started my bachelor wow. degree at the university. Wow. And then after the, I, I went to the US okay. as by work and travel program. I was really cool, massive, huge experience. And after that, I was I was making money out of it. I was I was helping people, students find job wow. uh, in the US, housing, money. everything. So they 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 call out for me and I was helping them and they paid me for that. And I was making good money at a time at that time. And then uh, after the I, I've got my bachelor degree, I uh, I went to the UK back in 2010. Uh, for uh, uh, making my master's degree, I was I got the governmental scholarship, so okay. government covered okay. all my expenses, all Excellent. my studying uh, in the UK. And in the UK, while I was studying there, I met tons of great people, mm. some of them from Kazakhstan, and they were civil servants. Mm. And they, uh, well, I, I, as I said, I uh, get along with them. We get, we got friends. And they, uh, after we've we've graduated, they, uh, as since they work for the government, they called me to join them, mm -hmm. and I moved moved up from Karagana to Astana, Astana, which is the capital of Kazakhstan, capital city, mm -hmm. and that's how my uh, governmental service career started. Wow. And I've done. So how many years did you work with the government? For the government, I worked for four or five years, and I I did great. I did great. I believe I was, you know. My career was, uh, uh, what is it called? Evolution of my career yeah. was very fast and great and like very massive. So how did you branch from the government into right, making right. frames? Well, uh, the, the thing is, uh, there, there is a trick with uh, governmental service, a little mm. trick in, in post-Soviet Union countries, in all of them, mm. I can say that. Mm. Uh, this job is very uh, massive response. It is lots of responsibility, responsibility. and it is underpaid. Uh, you know, it is uh, underpaid. Okay. So we uh, sometimes uh, force people to go for corruption, mm. go for bribes. Mm. And I, I was very against of it. The, okay. the whole, okay. all the way I'm, I'm, I'm against of it. Mm. And you know, saying like I was doing, I was making great career, mm. but uh, my, uh, living standard wasn't like uh, as i expected as i like it as i wanted it you know mm. and i understood that at the gov in the government uh, i'm not gonna make that that kind uh, of money that kind of money uh, yeah exactly to, which would like uh, meet my expectations so i decided to and i, I actually after that after the governmental service i worked for the uh, national governmental companies as well the pay was better but still you know, I knew, I knew, I knew for myself, I was very confident in myself that I know, I knew that if I will go back to business, I will make way more because I've done that before. I like it. You know, the, the, the good thing for me is I, uh, I'm pretty efficient in both in wow. governmental service and in business. So I can, I can do both. Uh, and I switched to business again. 
I've tried many fields, many industries. I was, I was checking them. I was investing. Uh, most of them did not work for me. Again, as I wanted it. So I, I, I opened up. I started a business. I checked it for, uh, for some period of time. And if it, it did not work, I just closed it. Wow. You know, I just finish it. That's it. Gone. So this particular one you're doing right now. So how long have you been doing this frame? This the optical business, right? Uh, this I have my own brand for three years, mm. and but I've been doing this optical business, uh, frames and sunglasses for around five, five, six, six, six years. I'd say six okay. years. I had a wholesale back in Astana. Wholesale. We were uh, selling copies, mm. you know, and. After I understood this industry, I felt that I wanted something better, bigger, you know, brighter, more interesting design, okay. better quality of lenses. Our lenses now uh, meet that uh, the US FDA criteria, European wow. standard quality, you know, because we are planning to, uh, you know, to, to go to the Europe, to, to Europe, go exactly, optimize, go abroad to, to the US. Yeah, one day you know so that's why we we right away we raised that uh bar of standard very high right very away high. the european standard oh, fda yeah. the u.s standard so we can we can go there anytime any, any day. Uh, exactly we exactly. just we just need to be ready ourselves wow. operationally you know so you make production here in almaty in almaty we we make we have designers we make design okay we make design and we uh we assemble parts okay yeah we okay. get them we, lenses we get from china but it okay. is it is called we call it uh what is it called like top quality china the the, mm. the, the plant the factory from uh from from that factory mm. uh spanish producers spanish brands yeah. polish brands german brands they they, they purchase these lenses as wow. just like us so they have that you know i saw all that uh, stand standardization you know european standard quality you know top factory uh so that's what you're basically yeah exactly doing. very well very well so i want to if you want to encourage young kazakh children that would like to be like you what do you what do you advise them to do because to be an entrepreneur in kazakhstan i think it's quite in niche right now for almost every kazakh so what, what are your advice to young ones I would totally advise them to if they feel that if they I would I would go for something that you that you that you like like it is now told that you know by the very wise people go for what you like first try to capitalize on that on your hobby you know what I'm saying first of all you know I was like I I like hustling I like that like brokership you know like put people together, together. put things together you know so I liked it I was good at yeah, in it so that's how I made that's how I make business. That's how I'm making business. I like yeah. communicate. Mm. So you gotta see first what you're good at. Mm. You know, if you if you have community, if you know, I mean, the field you like and what you what qualities you have already. You know, if you if if you're like disciplined, you could. It's not necessary to be like a businessman right away, mm. but you can join. You can help. You know, you can you can the synergy. You know, uh, yeah. Uh, for example, I, I'm not really good. I mean, I can. I, but I, that, I don't really like making that all the day-to-day -day operational things in the business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you're that kind of person, you, 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 it's not necessary for you to be a hustler. Yeah. You can you can help that hustler, mm -hmm. you know, to, to put things together, yeah. you know, because you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, so there is, there are always... options and opportunity in, in kazakhstan we have tons of opportunities it's wow. just like it's just blue ocean so-called you That's know it's one. exactly you can go wherever you want i mean it could be a uh, fast food it can be uh, retail whatever you want you can fit in you still can stick in it's just at the at just i mean just started to building up it just started to evaluate you know develop all the fields wherever you go service you can do everything just don't put to yourself all those kind of uh what is it called borders in your mind let them go wow. you can get it you can get it work hard you know be disciplined 
Excellent. You know, stay smart, uh, yeah. hang out with smart people. Yeah. That's very important. You know, it's it's a huge difference makes with the, the people who you, you know, you you're in touch with, with yeah. who you hang out with. Okay. You know, it's very important. It's very, big. very quick one now. I want you to, because people are watching from Africa and all over the world. So I want you to just uh, say a bit of something that would encourage investors to come on board. How is Kazakhstan ready for this kind of market? Mm -hmm. so what for investors. Yes, exactly. what, 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 what could attract exactly. investors, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, Kazakhstan, you, everybody knows. I mean, it is well known for its like mineral resources. It's mm -hmm. huge. It's super. That's, what, that's, that's, that's how we make the money yeah, in this yeah, country, yeah. mostly. But at the same time, all the spheres, all the industries, as I said, it's like uh, all this hotel industry. Whatever you go, whatever, whatever it is, whatever it is, all pretty much free, and you can come and make good money. Because we have money, but the uh, now we need to develop, develop the uh, industries, services, you know. And we and here in Kazakhstan, now we are good in HR. So you, here you can find great partners. Yeah, you can find great partners who can help you out. We can help you out to do some great business and from here from kazakhstan you could go uh throughout the uh post-soviet union countries russia russia uzbekistan whatever country it is in central, central asia, asia and russia yeah, yeah. eastern europe you know it's very convenient logistically china is next to us you can get from there whatever you want it's very like i mean it's very convenient you can work you, you can put together some great schemes business schemes with china kazakhstan russia and from here you can go wherever you want Anywhere to you europe want. even to london exactly network. yeah and you know this place called the silk road the silk road is connecting all these countries all together kazakhstan Caspian was, was the silk road it's called the silk road our oh, silk road exactly yeah, yeah. So yes. Kazakhstan is part of the silk road. yes it yeah. is yes so indeed. guys i tell you in Aleph, it's fun every now and then. It's just continuous. I've been one of the best and interesting minds on board. So I like you guys to just speak to this man. I'll put his information below the video. If you want to meet directly and do business with them, here he goes. So um, I want. something in your own language All right. maybe yeah. russian language or no kazakh kazakh, kazakh better i'm so kazakh so good kazakh. good it's pure kazakh so yes. say something in your language to them i like telling them something nice in your own language yeah right right all those that assalamu alaikum Қазақстанға <gülüyor> Wow, excellent. So I'm opening Kazakhstan to the world now. So come around and come have fun. That's what I said. Exactly. That's exactly I what I said. I didn't know what you said. <laughs> you, you felt that. I didn't you know. I just, <laughs> I just gave out my word. Exactly. You, wow. You, that, you it's felt real, it. man. So come around. So my own, what I know in Russian language is grass <laughs> That's That's fine. Yeah. That's good, man. Yeah. Goodbye. See you guys. Bye.